video in the Ask Patrick series. This question is by Priyanshu. The question is basically, I do not have enough time. Okay, for whatever reason, students normally do not have enough time. Maybe they have exams coming up or they've just started preparing. Okay, and so on and so forth. And I want to pick up a few topics in content, focus on that instead of doing all the topics. Look, you ask me personally, for people who are serious about CAT, I would recommend don't pick up topics, go through all the topics, purely because we don't know where the easy questions will come from. But yes, suppose I don't have time, okay, and uh, I just want to clear the cutoffs or get into some college. Then, the important topic as far as CAT, I mean, if you look at the topic wise, 50% of questions normally come from arithmetic, which includes number systems, etc. Okay, the 50% topic, I mean, and they're the easiest also of the topic, like profit and loss, averages, arithmetic, and the averages, times per distance, etc. They're complete, comparatively easier than the other topics. And 50% of the questions in the examination are based on arithmetic. Okay, that is what you should do and focus on definitely. From the remaining topics, maybe you can leave out one of them. If you look at it, 18% is normally from geometry, 18% is normally from uh, your algebra, and around 15% from modern mathematics. Broad breakup from the previous year's CAT paper, last year's CAT paper. It may change definitely, okay. How much it will change may not be much, but this is a broad pattern. So if I was one with lesser time, I would definitely do arithmetic. And from the remaining geometry, algebra, modern mathematics, I may pick up one or two areas and learn from them. I may pick up one area which I find difficult, assuming I don't have time. So this will give you a brief idea in terms of what you need to focus on or what you don't need to focus on. But yes, if you're really serious about CAT, then I would recommend at least know the basics of every topic purely because we don't know where the easy questions will come from. Easy questions can come from any specific topic that from the examination, right? So again, I repeat, if you are really looking at the weightage in terms of the exam, the most important topic is arithmetic with 50% of the weightage in the exam. Then comes geometry and algebra with 18, 18% each, and then modern mathematics with 15% each. So pick and choose whichever areas that you feel you want to leave out, and then decide how do you want to prepare. Right. I just gave you a brief idea regarding the weightage of the topics. Hope that helps. Thank you.